Did you know that our last official set piece guide came out nearly three years ago, everybody? That's not only crazy to think about, but unacceptable as well, as we've got way more to showcase. Take, for example, the stupidly simple yet potentially devastating rot trap here. The thing comes in three forms. One with a chest, a dead guy or two, rot, and green ponds in the swamp specifically, which is kind of cool. Another that generates with a couple mob traps, some rope, a bush hat, and a blueprint for said bird traps as you just saw, and finally, a third pile of nonsense that I could not spawn for the life of me, which sucks, as it's also the only other one that actually does something to us. For you see, most of these set pieces are totally fine to touch and take from, but if we were to open the chest of the first guy, or pick up the backpack of the third, we will see most of our perishables within our inventories instantly spoiling to roughly half their lifespan. Now I say most, as it's usually just food, but the game does spoil a fun cap when worn, but not when it's in the inventory, and doesn't degrade a hand bat, as you can also see, so yeah. Don't fret though, it is just a one-time deal. So either hammer the chest, or drop said perishables beforehand to help avoid any mistakes, of course. But here's a good question to end on. Why? Well, the other two sets have their practical side, sure, but the actual chest trap should give you a ton of random blueprints that could very well get you off on the right foot, or open a brand new crafting path for that you didn't even know you were missing. So make notes, as though you have one, a very short but sweet return to Don't Starve Together's sneaky set pieces that are just waiting to take the unsuspecting by surprise. But here's open our body of work as, uh, worked to prevent that from happening over all these years. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, mind the traps, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.